Hey Foglamps, on the weekends, Fog is going to post a trivia page, and each question will have a tiered point system. So you add up all your points, and by the end, you'll know how you rate. Today's quiz is going to be on lambs. We're entering March, and as you've all heard, March comes in like a lamb and goes out like a lion. Well, right now in Michigan, very lamb-like. We've seen nearly a 30 degree rise in temperature over the last week, so I thought it would be fun to test your knowledge on nine sheeps, rams, and lambs in pop culture. The first level is the power pack level. For each one of these questions that you get right, give yourself one point. Question one. In this nursery rhyme, written in the 1800s, Sarah Josepha Hale, the woman who created the modern Thanksgiving, wrote about a lamb who is well known for having fleece as white as snow and following her owner everywhere she went, which included school on occasion. Can you name this famous nursery rhyme about a lamb? Question number two. This astrological sign is based on Camarillus, the flying ram whose fleece was used to make the golden fleece. It is a fire sign, and it is the first sign of the zodiac. Can you name the symbol that Raven and Lilith of Geek were both born under? Question number three. This nursery rhyme is older than the one shown in the first question, dating back to 1731. The rhyme uses the tune of A Vawis Da Jean Mamin, which, by the way, I murdered the pronunciation of that. It was all French, which means that I had no idea how to say it. But that's the same music used for Twinkle Twinkle Little Star and the Alphabet Song. In the rhyme, a sheep is able to provide three bags of wool, one for the master, one for the dame, and one for the little boy who lives down the lane. Can you name this nursery rhyme? And that'll do it for the Power Pack questions. Remember that if I'm asking the questions a little fast, feel free to pause to give yourself time to think. I never, want, I never know exactly how much time to give in between questions. I don't want a lot of dead air. I might have to add in some music clips. So we'll see about that for maybe next week. We're going to move on to the New Mutants level. The New Mutants level are the questions that give you two points for every one you get right. Question four. This lamb was the hand puppet of Sherry Lewis and first appeared in Captain Kangaroo in 1957. Her show was known for introducing generations of kids to the most annoying theme song of all time. Can you name the lamb who would sing? <clears throat> this is the song that doesn't end. Yes, it goes on and on, my friend. Some people started singing it not knowing what it was, and they'll continue singing it forever just because this is the song that doesn't... Ah! <laughs> Sorry about that. Let's go on to question number five. This is the first ever fully cloned mammal. She was born in 1996 and died in 2003. This gave her half the life expectancy of other sheep. However, more testing on the process of cloning has shown that there is little to no decrease in life expectancy on average. Can you name the sheep that was once described as the world's most famous sheep? Question number six. Everyone has been told that if you can't sleep, you have to count sheep. One mattress company decided to use this adage to help create their ad campaign. Starting in 2000, this mattress company showed out-of-work numbered sheep lamenting how people slept on their beds. Can you name this company known for its perfect sleeper and eye comfort sleeper mattress? And now this puts us to the Avengers level questions. We're going to start off with question number seven, and remember that each question in this round is worth three points. Question number seven. This story about a lion who was accidentally raised by sheep was a short film made by Disney in 1952. 
The story revolves around a young lion who was misplaced by the stork. He was always afraid and often bullied by the other sheep. However, one day, when a wolf tries to hurt his family, this lion in sheep's clothing finds his inner strength and protects his family. Can you name this often mellow lion? Question number eight. In What If 100 from 1997, the watcher shows readers a world where Peter Parker isn't bitten by a, ra by a radioactive spider, but instead is bitten by a radioactive sheep. Even though his power set is quite different, the young man still becomes a hero. What is Peter Parker from Universe 9792 known as in his secret identity? And the final question, and remember all of these are worth three points. The term RAM is used in the world of computers, but has nothing to do with the animal. The computer term refers to storage that is used mostly to hold data from active applications. What does the term RAM stand for in computers? Okay, now for the answers. For the power pack questions, each one worth one point. Question number one, Sarah Josef Josepha Hale first wrote Mary Had a Little Lamb. For question number two, the zodiac symbol that uses a ram as its mascot is Aries. For question number three, that's Baba Black Sheep that was able to pr produce three bags full of wool. Lamb Chop was the sock puppet that captured everybody's hearts. And once again, I do apologize for bringing that song to your head. And these are the New Mutants qu level questions. They're each worth two points. Question number five is the clone sheep was Dolly the sheep. She was actually named after Dolly Parton due to the fact that mammary glands were used to create her. And the scientists thought it would be a funny joke because of the connection. Question number six. It's the Serta sheep that you see in those commercials with the numbers. And they're all very sad because they're no longer getting used every night. And that moves us on to the Avengers level questions. Question number seven, Lambert the Sheepish Lion. I've been feeling very singy today, I guess, and I do apologize for that. For question number eight, Uatu showed us a world that involved Sheep Boy. Spider-Man became Sheep Boy. I don't think he'd actually use boy as the title. He preferred being a man. And question number nine, RAM stands for Random Access Memory. So how'd you do? Remember, from last week, the point system is broken up into groups. If you got 0 to 5, I get the feeling that you may have stumbled upon this site looking for the weather report. But stick around and watch some more videos. You may learn something. 6 to 10? Okay, so you'll know a little bit about nerddom. You're still a Padawan, but I bet you get that reference. 11 to 17, you know your stuff and you're not afraid to show it. You found the right place to, to continue your study of all things geek. One day, you may even be a contributor. And 18, hello there, professor. Looks like you go to the head of the class. Remember to, remember to rub it in down below. And in fact, everyone, remember to write your scores down below and let us know how you did. Feel free to suggest any uh, topics that you may want to see in, in future episodes. So thank you for playing, and until next time, remember, it's fun to get lost in the fog.